Welcome to another edition of Rick's Firearm Academy of Detroit's Personal Protection and Safety Tips. This is a regular ongoing feature that we produce here to empower, educate, and assist with the protection of my listening audience. Every episode of this series, I deliver at least one personal protection tip that will enable you and your family to enjoy safety. And today's episode will be no exception. Before I deliver today's safety tip, I want to pause for station identification. I want to let you all know how you can see other personal protection tips in this series. I have a page obviously on YouTube, my YouTube videos that I've independently produced uh, with regards to videos that I made, uh, media appearances, speeches, and all the like. You can check those out on my profile, on my page on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Detroit CCW. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, you name it. If it's a major presence, I am there to empower you. If this video was something that was useful for you, not only should you subscribe to the channel, but you should like the video, forward it to family and friends. And by all means, I love to get feedback on my productions. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's personal protection, personal safety tip. Today's personal protection tip is going to be on home safety. One way to enhance personal safety at home is to always lock the doors of your residence whenever you enter or leave. Many people are seduced by the relative tranquility of their communities. As a consequence, they fail to exercise the first rule of home safety. Securing your home. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to keep bad guys out of your home, you should at least do the bare minimum to secure your residence. Make no mistake about it, violent crime can happen anywhere without a moment's notice. And when it does, you can count on viewing the faces of stunned neighbors on the nightly TV newscast stating that, quote, nothing like that ever happens around here. <laughs> I'll tell you, it happens every single time. Today's tip literally came from a local news story a while back. You see, a Michigan couple was startled one night by a man rumored to be under the suspicion of being drunk or under the influence of other drugs. He, <laughs> believe it or not, he entered the wrong home. He was so drunk, he was so high, he was so incapacitated that he went to the wrong home. In fact, he went to the front door and merely turned the doorknob and went inside. In fact, not only did he go into the wrong home and didn't notice that he was in the wrong home, he actually went to the bedroom of the homeowners a very stunned couple who were asleep and he actually got into bed with them. <laughs> Can you believe that? He got into bed with a couple who were at home sleeping and uh, his presence once it was discovered you know obviously caused them to freak out which caused them to vacate not only their bedroom but their entire residents and uh, they called the local authorities and of course the police got there <laughs> of 
who knows how long it took, but uh, they made it there eventually. In the end, the home invader was arrested, <laughs> no surprise there, and charged with a litany of criminal offenses. However, you know, it's also very likely that crime in this particular case could have been prevented if the homeowners had just simply locked their doors. Now, it could be argued that if the doors were locked and uh, he couldn't get in, that maybe he would have forced his way in through a door or came in through another window. I mean, you can definitely make that argument. But uh, the argument I'm making is based on what actually happened. This couple unlocked or failed to lock the door, the main door of their residence, and a drunk stumbled in and got into bed with them. Yeah, <clears throat> it was uh, a very scary situation, but it could have been worse. What if instead it was not a intoxicated, inebriated soul, but what if it was someone who actually had bad intentions? That person could have easily maneuvered their way into the home and killed the homeowners and ransacked the house in complete silence and a stunned community would have been shocked that something like that could have happened in their neighborhood. This incident could have ended horribly. <laughs> and I say all that to say this. If you want to enhance your personal safety, your personal protection at home, you know, we hadn't even talked about guns and gun safety and being armed and all of that. I'm postulating, I'm suggesting to you that if you want to be safe at home, one of the things that should be at the top of your list is actually securing your home. And the bare minimum to securing your home most assuredly should include locking your front door. <laughs> can't be any more clear about that so anyway this has been another rick's firearm academy of detroit legally armed in detroit personal safety tips stay tuned for our next episode as soon as i upload it and get it out there take care be blessed and lock your dog on doors